Welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the wonderful world of Rebirth for you. That is because this set is an explosion on this wonderful world by Kono Suba. So today, you're going to see a bunch of art. I'm going to give you my thoughts on this set, talk a little bit about Rebirth for you, take a look at some pricings and what that means for Y Schwarz. Now, if you haven't seen this anime, it definitely is worth a try if you enjoy the world of Konosuba. If you haven't watched Konosuba, maybe dip your toe into it and check it out. It's a fun little isekai that we got going on here. Now, this set, if you haven't seen Rebirth for you, it should remind you of Y Schwartz. And why is that, Big B? That is because if you've seen any of the recent sets, you know that there are a lot of parallels. In this one, you have normal 100 types, parallels 100 types, so a one for one. And we know why Schwarz does that a bunch of times. So obviously, you're going to have a bunch of foily versions. You're going to have duplicate art. And here is the duplicate art over and over and over and over and over again. But more importantly, some of this art is really amazing. You're going to see premium parallels. You're going to see specials. You're seeing a golden reverse, which I haven't seen that before, but I haven't been paying as much attention to Rebirth for you. So as you see here, there is going to be autograph cards of the cast of all the different girls that was in this show. Now, also on the premium parallel side, what you're going to notice is this Megumin actually squeezing some union. Well, She's about to squeeze some union. And if you watch the anime, she actually does this. So I would say if I had to guess that this is probably going to be one of the more expensive cards, if not the expensive card in the set, but I could totally be wrong. And as you see on here, there are two signatures on this actual card. So I would imagine if I had to guess, this is going to be fairly expensive. It's going to be the one to actually get. But you do have some other cards here, right? You got Megumin down here underneath your premium parallel partners. And then also you got this union. And both are really lovely in their own respects. But at the same time, I mean, when you take a look at this one, having double signature, having what they're wearing and what's actually happening on here, it's going to be fairly expensive. And also the fact that these premium parallels are normally really hard to actually end up getting. Now, there also are going to be SPs in here with signatures on them as well. You can see we got some Megumin and Yunyun and all the rest of the girls from the anime that you saw there. So it was a lovely anime. It probably wasn't the best version of Konosuba, but it gave you backstory on Megumin and Yunyun as well. And then if you know about Rebirth for you, you also got these NBPs, which are just these stamped you could say full art over frame rare kind of things going on here. And as you see, same thing with the girls. But like I said, oh, we got Chimusuke too. I love Chimusuke. But as I said here, you could see there is duplication of art repeatedly over and over and over again. Just take a look at this union right here. We got union, then we got this union foil, and then we got this union SP with signature on here. So a lot of stuff going on and the reason why i point this out is because you're going to see this overlap on the trial deck and maybe i haven't paid attention to rebirth for you enough but that actually threw me off a little bit so uh, the other thing inside of here is this golden what do they call this we called it like a golden rare Golden Reverse, it is a, because it's a reverse card, that makes sense. Golden Reverse, you can see this one right here of uh, Megumin. It's actually a really lovely card. I actually want to see what these uh, turn out to be price-wise because this is your Golden Reverse Plus card right there. You can imagine a little bit of foiling on here is going to go a long way. This is going to be a really fantastic looking card in hand, I can imagine that. Now, on the trial deck side, so again, this comes out on Friday, October 13th. And what you're going to notice on here is there was some changes. You can see this right here. Trial deck has been changed. And I don't read Japanese. And you know what? I don't play this game. But what I do see here is there's going to be triple rares. There's going to be this TDR rare that's a new version. They said it's supposed to be stronger. We got serial numbers going on here. So... Uh, basically the usual stuff, which is some, uh, a little tweaks to it. Uh, basically to give you a reason to actually pick up the trial deck. I don't know how that's been going along the way with Rebirth for you. Maybe people are just skipping the trial deck. 
maybe they just thought it was useless but you know again we have this inside of here this tdr which apparently is supposed to be a bit stronger and usable is is what it's saying here so we'll see let's see if, if there's any sort of price increases because of that right and just that tdr slot so what you're going to notice here is there are trial deck premium parallels and this should remind you this isn't the same card that you're staring at on my screen but you would have seen it earlier right so here is the trial deck version so tpp then you go back here to the booster box and oh here it is we have another card which is your epr rarity and then let's just go switch over here and we have an sp version so i I didn't know what to make of this, right? Right. Like when I take a look at this SP, you have this signature, which is really nice, but then you have this box that covers over here. And then you go to the trial deck and then you have this card, which shows all the artwork with no signature. And, and normally you're not going to see a signature inside of a trial deck. What you will end up seeing is you're going to be seeing these serial number rares inside of here, which is, uh, pretty awesome for people that like zero numbers. They do carry some weight. They have some value on there, even though there are no signatures on them. And you can see there is a Union version and a Megumin version as well. But I will say again, there is duplication happening. So here again is your serial number. But take a look at this. This is inside of your trial deck. You have a trial deck rare version plus. And then you also have this in NBP form which is inside of your booster box. So there is many versions to collect, and I guess whichever one you can afford and which one you like the best. Yeah, so I've always hated that about any of these card games, right? This reminds me of the premium booster box that you see in y Wars. It just feels lazy. Is, is lazy the right word? Any of you out there, is that laziness? It's just there's so many you have a whole slew of anime that you get you you have a season full of anime and this is what we end up with every time but uh anyways this is just how it works out and it's up to the person to decide to buy it or not buy it i will say if you look at the trial deck this inclusion of the tdrs these td rares I think I like that. I feel like at the very least, they're trying to put some value into people actually buying it. If this is actually a really awesome card, anybody that plays Rebirth for you, let me know if this is worth actually getting uh, just because of this. I mean, you have other things to pick up inside of this. You have wonderful art. You have the chance of getting a serial number. You have these TPPs, and then you also have the playability here going on. So. Uh, let's see if that actually pans out that way when the pricing comes up. So you do have a Megumin version, you have a Union version, and they do actually have different art, which I'm a fan of, right? So you see the TDR and then TDR+. Plus. So I would love to see that happen on more of the actual cards out there into the future. But as I said, when you take a look at these TDRs, this should remind you of going back here to this serial number version, which it makes me a little sad to just see this over and over again. But anyways, anyways, just keep in mind, I want to show you the pricing on this stuff. So uh, one way to actually do this is show you Rebirth for you. This is not the first time they had Kona Suba. So they actually had Kona Suba out here. You can see it was released on March 18th, 2022. How is it doing? Well, if I take a look at Yu Yutei, so again, we have PPs, which is your premium parallels. And on here, I know there is different art. I mean, just check out this art. This is from the booster box. It was the swimsuit version. So here we have swimsuit aqua, 79,800 yen. That was a lot. And you can see it sold out. We have Megum in here as well, 79,800 sold out and then you lastly have darkness at 59,800 so those are fairly ex expensive if you only buy a couple boxes and happen to pull a premium parallel that was really awesome now i want to go back here let's just flip back here to this booster box and you tell me where do you think this card is going to land at price wise because uh 
I feel like that's probably in the same realm of what's going to happen here. And when I take a look at the serial numbers, right there, even though you could see the art on here, it's not super amazing. I love the art myself personally, but you know, comparatively to the premium parallels, the totally different. But you could see they were sold out as well. 29,800 on the Megumin. That's your big one. So when you think about Konosuba Megumin, what do you think is going to happen with this set? And I'm just putting that out there, right? Anything could actually happen. I, I have happier feelings for this set than some of the other sets that have come out. If you take a look in the SP slots as well, they, the only ones, I guess people just don't like darkness. But you even have Kazuma, Kazuma sold out. I mean, at 29.80 uh, yen, why not? You know, why, why not? Just go for it. But Megumin sold out 99.80, Aqua 79.80. And then you got your MVPs, which you could think whatever you want about your MVPs. I think this time around, when I take a look at the MVPs, they are a lot better than the chibi form that uh, is on the original Konosuba set. Okay. Uh, when I I will just want to talk about the anime real quick. The anime I enjoyed. Like I said, if you've seen Konosuba, definitely worth a shot. If you like Megumin, worth a shot. I think it was not the greatest in the Konosuba series. It made me miss actual Konosuba. You can see on here the ranking ranked eighteen fourteen, popularity eighty twenty four, members two hundred eighty thousand. Score 7.49, but when I take a look at Kona Suba, look at this one, 8.11. Members, one point, uh, let's say 1.9 million, popularity 40. So it's a pretty strong IP, and we know that there is going to be a Season 3 coming up. Now, what you're going to see here on the Y Schwartz side is there have been releases for Konosuba, right? We got Konosuba 1, Konosuba 2, we have Legend of Crimson, the movie. So, will this Megumin set one day come out for Y Schwartz? There have been points where Rebirth for You stuff have come out for Y Schwartz. Um, if it doesn't come out, I imagine, or at least hope, that a set number 3, volume 3 for season 3, actually does come out. So, I hope a lot on there. And lastly, as we have seen with Y Schwartz before, there have been reprints that have taken place because of a set uh, getting a new season that they'll put out there a reprint. Will it happen? I don't know, but I'm going to be the first one in line if there were to be a reprint of Konosuba 1 or Konosuba 2. I think that'll be really awesome. But I, I also noticed here on the Rebirth for you, just going back real quick, they had these pictures of these cards of Cosma, and then we had Aqua, but in the anime, they didn't show their actual faces. I, I didn't know what was going on with all of that. Didn't make sense to me, but again, when I watched Megumin's arc here, it made me really miss Konosuba, and that's what was amazing about some of these sets. When I think about this Rebirth for You set, it reminds me of all the wonderful times I've had with this anime and the long lastingness of it. So again, when I look to pick out sets to purchase, collect, invest in, that's one of the ones that I go back to as in just the love of the actual anime it's, itself, especially with this whole recession economic downturn coming. There's going to be people not purchasing some of the stuff because they don't have the money to actually do so. So I would suggest, you know, if you are interested in this, make sure, again, to take a look at the love of the actual anime, the property of it, what chances it has of doing in the future, especially when you think about the cards inside of it. We got signatures. We got some art that people probably want in the future, but you also have to think about the playability. And the card game itself, right? Rebirth for you, Y Shores, Pokemon, all that stuff. But as always, if you need to reach me, you can find me right here. So uh, in the description is all my information. On the screen is all my information. Feel free to reach out. But have fun. Be happy. Don't spend anything outside your budget. Have a good one.